Hello guys and welcome to episode 94 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today I'm going to be trying to take Sarajevo after previously taking Belgrade. So let's get on with it. We have this army in the fort ready to go. This is a settlement without walls so it's actually going to be more difficult to take than usual. Let's go ahead and fight this on the battle map. We have a few melee units that we're going to have to deal with, but otherwise all good I think. Let's jump on in. May as well check to see if they want to surrender first. Not going to be the case. Okay. Now I'm not sure exactly where they're going to deploy, but looking at this map, I don't think I want to deploy up here because my cannons won't really have decent line of sight. I could deploy them down on the low ground over here maybe. Yeah, this is actually a pretty nice space to sort of cover with the cannons. I don't think we have to worry too much about this hill on the left because I don't think this is accessible in any way. So just this right hand side. Maybe what we could do is have our line in the trees here and move forwards because I think they do actually have quite a lot of artillery. So getting the cannons into range of their artillery is definitely a good idea. And obviously we won't be able to fire from within these trees. So... I think the best bet is to have them start in the trees, move them to the edge of the trees, unlimber, and then try and take on their artillery. That's, I think that's what we're going to go for. All right, meanwhile, uh, let's sort out our line. Going to go from left to right here. Let's just move these forwards on the left-hand side. This one can fit in the middle here. Lovely. Then we'll have three more on the right hand side. Very good. And then we have the rest of our units, which we actually have quite a lot of, which can sit behind. Now, what I'm thinking I might do is maybe have it so that if we get attacked by melee units, we fall back the units in front and have the ones behind, just like engage the melee units as they come through. I'm not sure though if that will work out. We shall have to wait and see. Anyway, let's end the deployment, see what's happening with them. Well, they have like, <laughs> what is this, like an artillery battery? Got some uh, mortars there. I wonder if we're in range from here actually. I doubt it. I am going to move to the edge of the uh, the forest here, I think. Oh, they're already firing. Okay, so it looks like their mortars are in range, but they're not firing their cannons, so I assume our cannons won't be in range either. Alright, let's uh, just group these quick. And I need to make sure that we start moving these forwards. Lovely. That'll do. Move forward the second line. I'm not sure quite what's happening with those mortar rounds when they land, but they are firing off all over the place. They seem to have left their cannons out in front. I'm very tempted to sacrifice a unit of cavalry to try and take them out. Because if we can get rid of their artillery, they will be forced to attack us, which would be perfect. So I think I might go for that. We'll get some heavy cav to just try and run them down. We'll keep them spread out in this two-line formation. 
That way the cannons, if they fire at us, won't do as much damage. Just got to hope they don't use canister, otherwise we're screwed. they go. I'm tempted to bring a couple more units to the high ground here on the right hand side. Their horses are coming straight at us. Uh, it looks like we're doing okay. How about our horses? Well, they've managed to break through so far. I'm just targeting the back side mortars. Oh, out. Okay, my horses got wrecked. <laughs> Ouch. So did theirs, to be fair. We did manage to dismount their... ...cannons, but... <laughs> ...that unit got destroyed. They're all gone. They're all gone. Well... Was it worth it? <laughs> I don't even know. We can fire at their cavalry, so we'll do that. I don't think we're actually in range to fire at their infantry line. Although that has provoked them, potentially. I'm not sure. Don't tell me that unit's bugged out. Okay, what was that? I don't even know. That's a lot of cannons. Or a lot of cavalry, sorry. Not a lot of cannons. Oh, these cannons are finally moving into position. Oh boy. That unit got annihilated. Alright, let's move these guys back. need to have this unit shoot into the back of those cannons. Although those, those cavalry, sorry. Are those rockets? And what are those mortars even firing? Uh, hello? <laughs> what, is, what is that? That is impressive. I don't know what the hell they're using, but they're not even firing the mortars. Well, we are in range of their infantry now, which is good. Uh, looks like they have remounted their own cannons though, so I think it might be time for another suicidal charge. Yeah, I don't really understand what those mortar 
water crews are doing, but <laughs> it's rather impressive. They're probably bending over and, and farting. And somehow that manages to fire those large projectiles. I do need to kill those elephants at some point, or we'll target the cannons towards those. Uh, I don't think we're going to get close to the cannons right now. I could maybe go for this mortar crew on the left hand side. Let's fire at the general's bodyguard, we might be able to snipe him. Yeah, taking out all of those elephants, lovely. Ooh -hoo. We nearly took a shot across the entire line there from the cannons. That would have been really rough. Right, we're going to kill these off and then get away from these elephants. And the guns. Are oh, those mortars are tanky? Yep, time to leave. I think I'm going to get another unit to go next to this line infantry. Just so that we can protect these cannons well. Oh beautiful. That was some lovely canister. So like point blank to my cannons, that was rude. Oh, we just sniped the general. Beautiful. hit. Oh, those shots really have a good chance of spoiling our day. I just want to get these guys into a position where I can flank once the battle starts. But currently those cannons are doing a fine job of mowing down my cavalry. I feel like I'm going to have to pick up my cannons and move forwards a bit more again. Uh, 
Are they shooting at these with their infantry as well? Oh, it's the camel gunners. Hmm. Well, I guess at some point we're going to have to start moving forwards. That was good to see a good shot hit the mortars there. That's going to stop them from using their super weapons. I'm just going to try and hide behind this house. And maybe we can use that to get into position to charge the camel gunners. Wow, that worked out very well, actually. We annihilated them. Yes, Lovely. Uh, so now how do I get to these cannons? Because I can't really run in front of these warriors. I guess the Sikh warriors can't do much, but the bar gear infantry, they can because they have the guns. And if they're going to start coming towards me, then that's absolutely fine. Exactly what we want. If I get an extra unit, I could probably build this from the hill here all the way over to the cannon. I think we're going to do that. Oh, they're firing at my horses again. Since they've started moving forwards, I'm very tempted to just charge into the back of those cannons, even if I lose my cavalry now. Just because it will mean that they are forced into this engagement. Got to avoid these elephants. Which might be on an intercept course. <laughs> that wouldn't be very fun. Looks like we're good. I'm going to be able to get in that charge. Oh, unless they route under fire. Now ah, we got it. I right, need to change the target of the cannons. Oh, never mind. We just managed to kill one of our own horses. <laughs> oh, good. Cavalry is so shit in this game. The only reason you need cavalry is to counter other people's cavalry. I mean, I realized that I, I did completely suicide the first unit, but they have started to come towards us, so it doesn't seem to be completely in vain. Got to take out these elephants.
Come on, cannon crews. How can you not hit these elephants? They are massive. They're such big targets. Okay, now they're running away. That's fine. All right, they're not exactly charging us properly with these melee units, so we're carving them down. That's nice. They are disciplined, I'll tell you that much. go the massive line battle begins oh at least those ones are running away I feel like I'm going to have to reinforce the right. Yeah, time to get that crew out of there. I think so far so good. I do need to get into position to force back these gawkers though. Getting some good shots through there, that's good. I think I'm just going to fill that line with the line infantry. I'm not going to man the cannons again just yet. Oh, we do need to find a way to deal with those elephants. That is for sure. I'm surprised these guys haven't routed yet. There goes two elephants. Alright, they are routing. Good stuff. Get in there. Oh, 
One good thing is, if these elephants keep coming at us slowly, then we're going to have plenty of time to shoot them. Uh, I might actually try and shoot them with the banded rounds. Once we sort out our infantry on this left side. Go in range, right? Should be. We just put a full volley into them. Well, <laughs> that's one way to kill elephants, I guess. I think it's time for me to just start moving forwards and finish off the rest of this army. We've killed both of their generals, so it shouldn't take too long now. His units on the left are going to take an absolute beating. My poor line infantry. Thing is, they don't even have clean shots through these trees. Hopefully, we can do enough damage. We don't want the armed populace to engage us. We should outnumber them on the left side here, so that's good. Now, after that charge, I thought we might break them, but it seems they are fighting on, annoyingly. need a nice canister round into that unit. Well, the second shot was better, but it still wasn't great. I think for the most part they've routed though, so we're all good. battle there. It is, a, it is a settlement battle so I think that wipes out the army and it's all ours. 
Love it. Okay, while we're here, we should probably replenish the army. I don't think we have enough to replenish the whole thing. So we'll have to spend an extra turn here, I think. Because next turn I'll also order this to build some walls as well. That should help things out. Lovely. So, more progress made. Let's just go through the lists and see what else there is to do. Fleet ready. So we have the army at Tunis, I think. That should be ready. It is indeed. Right, let's see if we can move that out and just leave the militia behind. Waiting we cannot. Order. Okay. So we'll have to leave a couple more units. It's not the end of the world. Okay, that'll do. Get them all on there. Sail over to Algiers. And attack that next turn. We can get in there this turn with our spy. Infiltrate it. Beautiful. Not that that really will make much of a difference, but there we go. So that's that army dealt with. Uh, now we have our army in the new world. This one's ready to go as well. Okay. So. You're humble, sir. I guess what we're going to do here. Is just move out with this big old army. And leave that one behind. Or actually, better still. It's probably better if we just jump on the wall on the water, right? That would be way quicker. And then we can just sail around here and attack them before they build too many troops. Perfect. I am going to have to pick up this chap at some point and take him back to Europe. He might not have ever been to Europe. Interesting, actually. Anyway, um, so Samuel Russell staying where he is. Uh, Riley Putnam. Oh, he's just chilling. I could probably take these line infantry out of this fort now. I think I'm going to do that. We'll just go and wipe out this unit. Nice and easy. They can catch up to the army at Belgrade and reinforce them there. Sounds good to me. Uh, the army at Königsberg can stay where they are for now. Same at Zagreb, same at Warsaw. And then all the others, it looks like, have been moved. So, yeah, that's all of our armies dealt with. Right now, let's go over to our navy. Naval recruitment is still going on in Gibraltar. Lovely. Right, that's uh, pretty much everything, right? So we've got those two ships coming down. There are six more ships there. That's going to leave eight ships, which I think is enough to fill this army and then, or well, this navy, sorry, and then that can go down to Brazil because in the Ivory Coast, Russia's currently there. Maybe this trade post is free. Not sure. Anyway, that's lovely. I think everything's done, other than maybe moving agents, but we'll move on to the next turn. Yeah, 
we've dealt a big blow to the Maratha Confederacy. It looks like they're going to run around in our lands there and do loads of damage, though. Uh, this is an opportunity to intercept. This could be a good idea because it will negate their use of cannons. And I don't think this will have walls, this native settlement. So if we can negate the use of one of their units of cannons, it's perfect. So I think we might take this opportunity to intercept. Right. Why is my army so spread out? It's really weird. We'll definitely deploy them closer together. I'll have my demi cans here. We'll have some more cannons over here. Have them unloaded and ready to go. We need to find a third spot for cannons because we don't really have any decent ground. I guess we could like have them here limbered and then unlimber them further up. Probably the best bet. Alright, meanwhile, we're gonna have to get some troops in the middle of these. That's fine. going to need our rangers here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where I want to put the rangers. We're going to have to make like a gap that they can fire through in the line, I think, in order to make the most out of them. Kind of like how we have for our cannons. Have another unit of grenadiers or something? I do not. Or maybe if I move these over, we make that line a bit thicker. I can have these like so. And then grenadiers, then cannons. And then another unit of line infantry. I might even put the irregulars on the flank. I'm late. I'm gonna have my mounted tribal auxiliary just like camping out in the middle, shoot over the top of my line infantry. And then my dragoons, well, they're gonna go and find the enemy artillery, I think, during this battle. That's their, the plan with those. spare unit that I can probably put on this right side. Well that's our line ready to go. Let's just start the deployment. Where are the reinforcements coming in from? Are they coming in from behind us? That'd be kind of awkward if they are. Alright well anyway we are going to have our dragoons Actually, I guess I could have the mounted tribal orcs that are moving forwards. They are already being fired at, so that might be a good shout. We're going to have to turn ourselves around, though, it looks like. I'm going to bring all of these units from this side over here.
Well, those Mountain Tribal Gunners should be dealt with. But at least we've taken care of their cannons, that's good. Oh shit. <laughs> My cannons are firing at their cannons. That's it, right. Let's uh, move away with our gunners. Got these firing. Uh, my general is actually quite exposed back here, so got to be careful. And well, both of these can go into square. Ouch! Just took a nice rear charge there. No, don't charge my artillery. Leave them alone. Okay, thank you. See, all you gotta do is ask them nicely, and then you're fine. My Dragoons are currently engaging the Chief's bodyguard, and it seems like we're doing okay there. It's a lot of cavalry. I didn't realise there was that many cavalry units. I think the best bet here is just turn these round. Well, I'm surprised these units are still alive. <laughs> Completely forgot about them. They're still fine, apparently. Go on, Dragoons. Tell his boss. Shooting them at point blank range there. I'm managing to kill off the Chief's bodyguard quite nicely, although there is a little bit of friendly fire going on here. I'm tempted to actually unload them. Or, like, have them dismount. Because that's how they're supposed to be used. I wonder how good they are actually aiming. Charge in there, lovely. 
I really do wish that they would <laughs> stop firing into the back of my men, though. Not that this army really matters anymore. I could lose this entire army and probably not care. As long as I actually win the battle. Mm, they don't seem to be doing all that well. going to work out over time. I might actually just charge these. We'll just get this over and done with. Look at the numbers just get annihilated there with those musket men. Okay, wonderful. Most of the units dealt with so far. My Dragoons managed to take out that unit, whatever it was. It's quite impressive. Uh, let's just charge and... turn and charge the Warrior Society. Be worth just mounting again if I'm going to put them into melee. Well, I don't know where, straight into the side of my ranges. See if we can put some canister into them. That's it. We'll end the battle there for the heroic victory. Okay. Wonderful. Right, we've got a few raids going on over here because of these two units, but we'll get rid of those shortly. Let's just quickly go through the messages. Enemy raids are fine, works on strike. It's all good. 
trait gained for Meriwether. Superior general, that is. New town emerges in Hungary. It is a very poor town. So is this one. I think I'll make one of them into a church school and one of them into a craft workshop. Got the fleet arriving. Oh, that's even more merchantmen. There's India men. Okay, and now we have New Year's Day. For over five centuries, 25th of March, or Lady Day, has marked the beginning of the new year. Lady Day is a celebration of the Annunciation when it was revealed by the angel Gabriel that Mary would conceive the Christ child. Upon its recent adoption, Adoption of the Gregorian calendar, Britain has controversially followed Catholic Europe's example and changed the New Year's Day to January the 1st. So now Easter will be celebrated around the anniversary of the First Council of Nicaea, and meaning that the British year now matches that of its continental neighbours. Rumour has it that this change is also partly motivated by embarrassment as having a calendar out of step with almost everyone else was causing problems for both traders and generals alike. The upshot of this change is that the average man is suddenly concerned with the whereabouts of the missing 11 days he feels have been taken away from him and the injustice of having his life unreasonably and inexplicably shortened against his will. That's fantastic. Well, there we go. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I am going to leave it here. But uh, we've had a very successful episode. We wiped out the Marath Confederacy at Sarajevo. I'm sure we're going to have to deal with many more of their armies as we continue. But some good success to begin with. And we're making ground against Poland and Lithuania as well. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.